Hi, I'm Brian Anderson with Coaspear Electronics, and I'm here to talk about resistor pulse power and how our engineering helps your design go from concept to reality. All resistors can handle a certain amount of pulse power. Up to about one second, the resistor does not come up to a full steady state high temperature. And for that short period of time, it can uh, dissipate a much higher amount of power than it would under normal circumstances. For especially high pulses, there are a few things we can do to increase the pulse power condition. Using the same standard materials that we use for general purpose chip resistors, we can go to a part that has no trim line for the resistive element. By not having a trim line, we have more material that we can spread heat across and a smaller amount of current density at any point in the resistive element. That allows the part to run cooler and that allows us to get as much as 10 times pulse power compared to a general purpose part. That's our SG73 series of pulse resistors and it's a good part for things like snubber applications. But the one problem is that the trade-off is in tolerance. We can only offer it in 10% tolerance at best. We can offer higher pulse power than general purpose in 1% or 5% tolerance by going to a serpentine element, a resistive element that is longer than a normal part and therefore can be used with a lower resistivity but higher stability material. That's our SG73P and SG73S series of resistors, which have about five times the pulse capability of a general purpose part. If you have a pulse application, our engineering team can make recommendations as to which of these parts, the SG73, the SG73P, or the SG73S might be the most appropriate, and which sizes you can use. We would need to know of some information such as the maximum pulse power, the repeat cycle, and the shape of the waveform. But by doing so, we can help move your design from concept to reality.